But a bit of a backstory that there are fears of a potential food insecurity uh, in the northern parts of the country following the absence of enough rainfall this year, leaving many farmlands dried up with crops destroyed. This is after some farmers have been waiting for the rains to do planting while others have already planted their farms and continue to wait in limbo. Our correspondent Ibrahim Wangara has put the spotlight on the Upper West region specifically. Regular <coughs> rainfall pattern in the northern parts of the country has left farmers devastated, with commercial farmers the most affected as many farms have been destroyed due to the lack of rainfall. Granites, yam, millet, rice, sogum and maize farmers are the hardest hit. After waiting for the rains in vain, many farmers have retired from their farmlands hoping for divine intervention to enable them salvage some of their crops should the rains come again. A 50-year-old farmer who has cultivated 350 acres of maize in the West East enclave of the Upper West region expressed his frustrations. Uh, it has greatly affected it negatively. You can see how crops have been affected. Uh, those that are Tussling and during the dry during the drought period had been affected badly. Last year, like well, for instance, we had about 150 acres, but we have better more than 3,000 bags of meat that the 50 cages. And this year we increased it to 350 acres. We have lost a lot. We have lost a lot. No matter how 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 many times the rain comes, but those that we have planted early have already affected, and I think we have lost them like that. Some farmers also vented their anger over the lack of rainfall and destruction to their crops. After the rainfall this year, it has affected a lot. I applied the fertilizer in June up to August. I didn't get rain, so it has affected my crops a lot. Last year, I farmed 20 acres and then I got, I got um, 150 pieces of 100 kgs. And then this year too, I can best tell but all my maize is transport. And the land that the bulldozer clear is about 38 acres. That is 38 acres that the bulldozer clear. But I want to use the land to sow sorghum. But currently, there is no rain that for me to use the land to plant the sorghum. So currently, I left the land. I don't know what to do. I'm totally confused. I don't know what to do. Abdul Manaf also fears the phenomena may have an adverse effect on food security in the country, while having the tendency to serve as a disincentive to the youths. Considering this, a lot of young guys went into farming because we believe that that is the area that can help boost the economy in this country. But what have affected us this year, I think many, 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 many people will be discouraged. I think the whole of Northern Belt, everybody has been affected. I think that uh, food security in Ghana uh, uh, is something that the government have to take seriously. If not, we are going to face a very huge challenge. Though some part of the North have begun witnessing little drop of rainfall, to most farmers, all hope is lost as they continue counting their losses. Ibrahim Wangara, TV3 News, Chasse, White East District.